Hello guys, DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Dark Man Alt with 939 rating versus TCG Collectibles Alex with 586 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. So Alex over there is going to decide if he wants to go first or second, and he's going to decide to go first, and the opening hand is Ash, Rhino, Hakirio, Dinomiscus, and Golden Lord. Uh, so he needs to draw like a BA to make this hand just a lot better. Uh, and his opponent opened up Cosmic, Alistair, Souls, Apprentice, and Secrets. It sucks to see people draw both of these. It's like the same odds as drawing Brilliant and Garnet. Uh, he's got Normal Alistair. That's going to get hit with Ash. And he's going to Secrets for Knowledge. And then Knowledge, draw two. Uh, draw Souls and Terraforming. So he drew pretty much two Brilliant and Garnet. Ah, that's just unfortunate. Uh, he's gonna set cosmic and then pass. Draws Conquistador. Uh, he's gonna discard Lord and Conquistador to pop cosmic. Set Hakirio and Dinomiscus. Uh, end phase banish Conquistador to set Scarlet directly from deck. And then he has a good card to discard with his Dinomiscus being the Rhino. And his opponent draws Hakirio, and he's going to be with a Terraforming for Meltdown. And then activate Meltdown, and that's going to get hit by Dinomiscus, discarding Rhino. And then Rhino's probably just going to send Skarm. Yeah, send Skarm. And then he's going to Normal Summon Souls, and he's going to use the effect Send. Draws Crow. That's pretty good because that can hit Skarm out of the grave. Uh, gets rid of Souls for the Salomon Grey. And then gets rid of that for Secure Gardener. And then he goes to attack for 1000. He's going to flip Scarlet. He's going to summon Lord in Defense. And then main phase 2. He's going to Crow Skarm. And then... Uh, he's going to flip Hakirio in end phase. And then that's just going to banish the Hakirio from his opponent's graveyard. Or he's going to do it in main. Because uh, if he waits to end phase, then he could just banish it. So, that's just going to be a pass turn most likely. He could have also just summoned Dynamiscus when... Oh no, he couldn't have, never mind, because he's locked in the zombies. Almost forgot. Uh, draw Skarm. So he has this whole Eldish going here. So he's really far ahead compared to his opponent. He's going to suck Conquistador. And then get rid of it for Lord. And this is actually game here. Because you can just switch these to attack. Uh, Kirio attack. He won't take damage. And then 25, 35. And then Gustav Max for game. Yep, 35, 25, and that's going to leave him at 2,000, main phase 2, Gustav Max, game. Uh, love seeing Gustav Max take games. Uh, now we're going in the game 2, and he's going to choose to go first again in the opening hand. is Skarm, Scarlet, Conquistador, Farfoot, Graf, and his opponent opened up Conquistador, Golden Land Forever, Meltdown, Golden Lord, and Scarlet. So this is a pretty good hand. And he's going to start off with Meltdown, grab Alistair, and then Alistair, grab Invocation. Then Invocation, banish Alistair, and get rid of the Golden Lord in hand to make Makaba. Invocation, grab back Alistair. And then get rid of Meltdown for Lord, bring it back. And then set three paths, set Golden Land Forever, Conquistador, and then Scarlet. And then he draws Ash, which one turn kind of late. Uh, he's going to reveal Farfa, Normal Summon Graph. And then he's going to overlay into Dante. Discard Skarm, Summon Beatrice. Uh, goes in the battle phase, tries crashing with Makaba. He's going to flip Conquistador, popping Beatrice. And then he's going to chain link 1 Beatrice, chain link 2 Dante on Graf, and then chain link 3 Graf. Um, that seems 
kind of weird because you know Macabre is going to negate Graph here because Dante's trying to add back Graph, and if he Macabre banishes, then he's pretty much negating the second chain link and the third chain link. Uh, so maybe adding back like Farfa there was just better. I think I, d I definitely think adding back Farfa there was just better. Uh, he's gonna summon Pilgrim, and then he's gonna attack Macabre. And then he's going to set Conquistador and Scarlet, and then end phase, he's going to get his Skarm effect, and that's going to add him Seer. And now he can Pilgrim effect and end phase if he wants to. He decides not to, he's going to Scarlet and end phase to bring out Golden Lord. And then passes, draws Meltdown, so it's really good that he saved that Ash. Even though, uh... I don't know. Golden Land Forever is going to be able to stop one of these. Because he has, like, Conquistador, which would be able to pop Meltdown, and Ash, which could negate Alistair. Uh, but he's going to stand by Pilgrim, discard Seer. Uh, his opponent it should just let this go through. If he Golden Lands Forever, that, then Pilgrim Effect is going to make him get rid of that Meltdown. Draws Black Awakening, Seer Effect on Dante. Goes to main phase, activates Meltdown, that's going to get Ashed. And he's going to Golden Land Forever, Tribute to Negate. Um, Alistair gets added to hand. Normal Summon Alistair, use that effect, and that's going to get him Invocation. Um, he's going to... Get rid of Alistair for Amirage, Invocation, he's going to banish Alistair and Ash to summon Purgatrio, and then Invocation to grab back Alistair, switch Golden Lord to attack. Goes to battle phase, and it's really good that he has Amarash here. It's going to be able to, like, protect Purgatrio from the Conquistador. He's going to attack Pilgrim. Um, damage drops Alistair. So he takes 13, and then attacks over Dante. Takes 14, Dante had back Seer. Attack with 25. He's just going to admit defeat there. Um, I think no matter how that was done, I don't know. Maybe that wasn't right. I feel like he could have flipped Scarlet there, right? Like he could have just flipped his back row. Uh, his opponent would chain Amaraj to protect Purgatrio. And then like, I don't think he loses there, does he? Maybe. Maybe it's like perfectly game. I don't know. I don't have a calculator or anything to hurry up and do that math. Uh, but next game, the opening hand is Skarm, Ash, Rhino, Lancia, Rhino. Uh, Lancia is extremely good against this deck. Uh, it stops like both of the engines, and it can stop the side deck evenly matched that they have. Uh, then his opponent opened up Crow, Golden Lord, Conquistador, Cursed, and Conquistador. Uh, so not a bad hand, just has no way to his invoked. Uh, he's going to special summon Skarm, normal summon Rhino, overlay the two in the Dante, Dante, mill three. Uh, mills two good cards, and then he's going to get Rhino effect, uh, to send Graph, Graph effect, bring out Seer, uh, Link in the IP, and then he's going to get Dante, Seer, and he's going to chain Crow to banish Dante. So Seer's going to go back to hand. Then banish Black Awakening to set Conquistador. And then end phase, he's going to banish to set Scarlet. And then he's... Uh, yeah, he did reveal Skarm, so he was not going to get the end phase effect of that. Draws Alistair. Uh, it's a pretty good draw. It's a way to get into his Invoked. He's going to activate Cursed. He's going to flip Conquistador. 
and then IP so he's gonna unicorn this away discard rhino shuffle that back rhino effect dump scorn then he's gonna normal Alistair uses that effect he's gonna allow that to go through because he knows he can just Lancia in response to invocation Invocation, Chain Lancia. Uh, Lord, discard the Sun Unicorn. It doesn't destroy, so the IP doesn't matter. Uh, it goes to Battle Phase, Scarlet, to bring out Golden Lord. Uh, main Phase 2. The BA player is obviously ahead here. He's going to set Conquistador, End Phase. Conquistador effect the set. He's gonna set Scarlet, and then Scarm's gonna add Tour Guide. Oh wait, never mind. He can't banish. I'm dumb. Lancia is still active, obviously, which again is why Lancia is just so good against this deck. It doesn't just shut down the invoked. It shuts down all the banish effects. Um, and from here he's just gonna lose. Oh, he's gonna lose this turn actually. He's going to normal summon tour guide, use his tour guide effect. And he's going to bring out the third rhino. Then overlay those two into Dante. Dante, mill three. Um, he could get Libic effect here if he wants to. And he could get rhino. He's going to use both effects. Summon Seer from hand, and then dump Farfa, and then Farfa, banish Alistair, discard Calcab for Beat Rice, Calcab, bounce back, or Beatrice, I just like calling it Beat Rice. Uh, that goes back to hand. Then he's going to link those two away for Cerberus. Seer, bring back Skarm, Skarm dies, banish Scarlet, set one from deck, and then just get rid of it right away for Lord. Um, and then this should be not game, but leave him very, very low, and then this can just send Barbar on standby if he plays it. So 16, 25, 35, leaving him at 400. And then, yeah, he's just showing Barbar -bar for scoop phase. Even though his opponent could technically draw, like, a crow or, like, an ash to stop this, uh, it wouldn't matter because Dante would just add back Barbar -bar and it's going to happen eventually. Uh, he does show Barbar -bar index, and he was drawing knowledge, so stand by, beat rice, send Barbar, -bar, burn for 900 for game. The good old Barbar -bar for game. Um, he barbarred for game game three and game one he goosed off max for game. That that's like that's insane. That that hurts. Uh, but that's gonna be it for the match. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off.